right, and go. Can you see it? I hope it's not backwards like it is on my screen. Um, in case it is, uh, for Barn Cats Vimeo, the intro clip. All right. That's written on the other side of my show notes. <laughs> well, you know, you got to have show notes for these things. This is uh, going to be exactly the length of a smoke break here, just to make sure I get all bases covered. And uh, kind of like Art Bell, you know, my video radio bone is connected to my smoke bone. That can be negotiated, though. Uh, so, me. A little bit about me. My, well, my human name, <clears throat> my birth certificate name, whatever, biological name, it's my step name. I never knew my real name. <laughs> no, it's, um, I'm Brian Lee. You're not catching me at my best. This is about as ugly as I look. Let's get real about this. Uh, I got a watery eye here because I got a cold. <clears throat> um... Well, I, I do voices. I'm a voice actor. Uh, I do impressions of various things. Sometimes I mix two of them together to create an unknown and totally new effect. But I also do monster voices, too. We'll see those on later clips uh, when I'm more at my prime. you got to psych yourself up into this, you know? Um, so I do... Voices, voiceovers, uh, acting. Even ugly guys like me get gigs every now and then. Speaking of ugly guys, uh, this is kind of one of those things that's in um, acting resumes. My bodily dimensions. <laughs> okay. God, I gotta be brutally honest here. I'm not, I'm no, I'm no Brian Boitano, but um, I am a Brian. And I'm a Brian that is about six foot and 200 and gosh, this is where it gets really iffy. Ugh. Okay. I'm six foot tall and 280 pounds. Or maybe I'm 270. I don't know. It's a lot of water weight. It fluctuates. You know, <laughs> I can, uh, Let's just say it this way. I can put on a, a, a tight pair of pants in the morning and they'll and I'll be constantly picking them back up from around my ankles by the end of the day. I work my ass off. Like the stuff I do. Um, I'm a podcaster. You'll find a lot of my recent stuff on uh, www.blogtalkradio.com backslash barncat radio. And even more recently, uh, www.anchor.fm backslash Barncat Radio. Not stuff I'm super proud of, but it's it's what I've been up to. Um, I do paranormal investigating. In fact, if I do any paranormal investigations here on Vimeo, uh, well, that's where you'll find them. I just noticed one eyebrow was going up a little crazier than the other. You know what? As you get older, like it starts out with just one hair that starts jingling around and curls and starts doink, 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 doink in the eye. So you doink, out. And next thing you know, it, it, it's the ripcord, man. It's the ripcord because you pull that one thing that gives the signals to the other hair. It's like, poof. next thing you know, you're like a freaking um, mentat off Dune, if you know what I'm talking about there. This is my quarantine beard. Yeah, it's my quarantine masterpiece. I'm looking like a homeless Santa. I'm not graying uniformly. You know, I never really had a pattern, uh, problem uh, with my male pattern baldness. I mean, it's inevitable. It's genetics. I, that was the card that was dealt. But do, did it have to be in such a crazy pattern? You know, I've got like the Wolverine thing going on here. I don't know, Bozo the Clown... Uh, I got the stripes on the sides like I wanted to, like Doctor Strange and Reed Richards and you know, my Marvel heroes. But I got the Professor X top knot. <laughs> I got the Professor X man bun. 
to me, my X Men. I'm feeling like a hipster. <laughs> Just call me Hipster X. Uh, <laughs> I like to do uh, videos on local sights and sounds, um, scenery, local performers, stuff like that, art, sculpture. I do a lot of um, voiceover work with Nightmare Alley. The guys there I like to collab with and get various horror stories uh, up on, uh, you know, places where people can see them, like Facebook and YouTube. And now it's even out on, in a paperback form and Kindle. Check out my Twitter page for that one. Spamity, spamity, spam. Well, if here, uh, here, if nowhere else. Uh, let it be said, spam, spam. So check out my Twitter feed at www.twitter.com, of course, uh, backslash Barcat Radio. You, you knew that was coming by now, right? I am that predictable. Maybe I just knew what I was thinking ahead of time for once. <laughs> I like to do collabs with other creatives, other creators. Um, I've done a lot of my own stuff on my own, and if I ever get the urge to do stuff on my own, uh, I do short scripted stuff on www.youtube.com, Barncat, nope, not radio, not radio, Barncat TV, all one word, Barncat TV. Oh, pantomime, I do that too. Not the best. I've lost a lot of the invisible objects I used to work with during the pantomime days. I just can't seem to locate them. Where did I leave them? Go figure. Uh, so that's a little bit about me. Now let's get down to brass tacks. <laughs> I hate to admit this. Um, that's why I'm going to do it anyway. Just so I can hate myself even more. I... Okay, so, so as I go along here, as I do get more and more uh, like acting gigs, voiceover gigs, that sort of thing, extras work, uh, people ask me, <laughs> people actually ask me what my going rate is. I've never been really comfortable with the business end of things. I think that's probably why I need an agent. You know, they can play hardball for me and I'm like, hey, it's my agent. They want money. And meanwhile, I'm secretly enjoying money. <laughs> you know, and other whatever considerations. I, I, myself, I work for cheap, especially for friends of mine. You know, I, um, I don't mind doing things for friends of mine and all that. And also, it kind of keeps me busy. And as, as long as it's something else I can add to my portfolio, I'm all right with it. Or, you know, just the chance to learn new things from various people. Because everybody's got something to teach, right? Everybody's got something to teach. I'm getting dry skin because of the winter. That's why I use... Uh, that's why I use oil of Olay. It gets my skin sparkling clean. It gives it the high pro glow. And this is actually a bottle of hand sanitizer. I don't know. It's... Okay. I do commercials. I didn't say I did them well. Uh, whatever. So I was going to upload this onto Vimeo and all that, start up a Vimeo account and all that, and I started to register and do, do all the steps. And um, Vimeo goes and tells me that there is already somebody on Vimeo with this email address. And I'm like, I think I know who that is. I think I know who might have done that. I have a prime suspect on who the heck is using my email address to make a Vimeo account. And I think it's me. So what I'm going to have to do is do password recovery. Um, so type in the password exactly as you see it on the screen. I'm like, okay. I'm sorry, this is incorrect password. I'm like, but this, but this, this is you. That's the one you sent me through the email. Ugh. Okay. So I go back to the email. I'm going to cut and paste this. I'm going to give it a taste of its own medicine. Cut. No. Uh, cut. Uh, control. Ah, oh, left click. Not the whole damn screen. Just. Okay. Ah, yes. Copy the link. Take it over there. 
I don't know why I did the keyboard thing. That's probably why I'm messing up on my passwords. <laughs> ah. Um, and then give it to him. There. That's what you told me. Now I'm going to take it back to you. And you can't refuse it because it's your stuff. I'm sorry. This password is incorrect. Oh my god. Good, good, good. PG-13 bloody blah heck. Son of a gun. <laughs> I'm just predicting that's what I'm going to run into. Well, we'll see, though. I feel like Larry King here. You know, went back when Larry King used to have the smoke on his desk and be like, so, I'm interviewing a person who just got over cancer and has asthma and emphysema. And besides, oh, how you doing? <laughs> that's mean. That's mean. I wish I wasn't so mean. But if I was... I would be twice as mean. Um, oh yeah, that's uh, that's a little bit about me. It's an introductory clip. Something I put up. You'll probably be saying, you know, Mr. Lee, uh, uh, can, can we call you Barncat? Um, yeah. We have just one uh, problem with your act. I mean, don't get me wrong. We love what you're doing with your voice, the impressions. The, that you can constantly just keep on going and going and going, just like an infinite source of silliness. But we have one issue. The guys uh, at, at the top, you know, the ones who write our checks and stuff, um, basically they wonder if you can basically stop saying the word basically more than one time since... <laughs> Actually, can you get rid of the cigar? Hmm... Can I can I get rid of the cigar? Uh, ooh, that's a toughie. Well, you see, it's like um, a prop. It's a prop. It's kind of a, a pacifier. Um, and that would be my only excuse right there. That's what smoke breaks are for. I won't be on your camera going. We're in the middle of a. Haunted house. I only do that for my own stuff and when I work with other people who are smokers. But I'm like, we're in the middle of a haunted house here. We just heard some knocking on the walls. We asked it to knock on the walls, but we didn't expect it to. Holy moly. Uh, I don't know. you got to make ghost shows entertaining, don't you? Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to launch into a critique about paranormal entertainment, aren't we? Well, that's what I think it should be called, paranormal entertainment. Um, there is some research. I mean, you do they do mime and mimic and ape the uh, what they've learned sitting on the shoulders of other more experienced uh, researchers before them. But somewhere along the line, it gets lost in translation from book to screen. Oh, it always does. Lord of the Rings. Enough said. Uh, Stephen King. Enough of, of said. That stuff went totally 19. Stephen King reference. And I've itchy faced because I have fleas. Doesn't everyone? I've got fleas. You've got fleas. They've got fleas. We've all got fleas. <laughs> it's, uh, it's because we're mammals. Mammals, and we're all covered in hail and follicles all over the place. I look like a demented tumbleweed, don't I? I probably should have brushed my hair. I probably should get a haircut. I probably should shave. But that's me. Um, I do investigations, paranormal investigations, again, like I said earlier, but I want to expand on that because I think it's the mysteries of nature and the nature of mysteries. They both keep me going. Things parapsychological, cryptozoological, and extraterrestrial. Um, as above, so below. On the ground, six feet under, or up in the skies, that's what I'm interested in. Especially in the local scene. I like the local scene, and it's within budget. The guys out top that uh, run my show, uh, the, the producers, directors, financiers, and all that stuff. All those guys, basically me. <laughs> like it when things are affordable. 
Well, it's just about the end of the cigar here. If I've missed anything, leave me a note in comments. Till then, adios.